गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग Fine, so that you know, you uh, ultimately at last, then you will be scoring good marks. And whenever you have any doubt, like you know, you are reading any chapter, and then you got any doubt, just drop a message to me. Okay, you just inform me, ma'am. This I have a doubt. Can you explain it? So I'll maybe I'll just send you the audio. Maybe I'll record it and send it. Maybe I'll send you the better explanation, easy way. So we'll look out for some other thing. Okay, and same goes for the other subject also. Whatever doubts you have, we just clarify that. You yes, should not have any doubt. Okay. Okay, ma'am and. Uh... The school is giving everyday homeworks uh, mm -hmm. for the running chapters. Homework in the sense like you mean to say the worksheet or just learning part or the writing part. No, uh, they are giving everyday two to three questions or five five to six questions. In uh, so how are you how are you are doing that you are writing it or like uh, means like uh, you are learning and doing it or just copying yes, ma'am, learning and doing it. That's good then. Like you know, learning and doing is good thing. We are uh, we are in control and coordination in this chapter. In bio. So which topic so, you are doing that now? Uh, we have completed reflex arc. Okay, it means just started. It means. Yes, ma'am. Because only few few topic they might have covered it. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, Abhinav. How are you? Fine. Okay. So, how everything is going on now? Quite well. Okay. Good. Mom. Okay. So it's like uh, since I think I have changed the time a bit. Uh, very less students have joined. Rizwana, good evening. Dahira, good evening. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. So, children, it is must for you that you should attend the. Uh, I think we all can turn on the video. So, everybody turn on the video. Ma'am, my videos. Uh, video it is must for. You. Okay, so it's like you know, must for you all to attend that mock. Test actually mock paper. So while attempting it, like you know, you'll get the idea what kind of questions are coming for the exam, and then what way you can do it. Like so, once you will be completing, once you will be uploading your answer sheet and sharing with us also, then we will be helping you out for your presentations. Like you know, the way how you are writing. So keep in mind whatever the answers you are going to write or whatever the things you are going to write, you should write in such a way that you are writing the board exam paper. Okay. So keep this thing in mind that you should give one hundred and ten percent to that. So once you give hundred and ten percent, then might be you know we'll be able to help you out. Don't take it very lightly. Don't take it lightly because the paper is exactly the same way how you will be getting it. Fine. So you will be getting very very good idea for that, and we'll try to you know have one on one con conversation also like you know after your papers are being corrected by the concerned evaluators, we'll try to have those conversation. See, I am not committing anything, but yes, I maybe I'll just try if we can have one on one. You know. Like now we have the group of children. Rather than rather than that, we can give you maybe five minutes or ten minutes to discuss personally with you what are the mistakes you did it, how you can work on, or maybe through the call also we can do it. Fine. So we'll we'll find out. But yes, I want that you all should give you a hundred ten percent. And I have shared you the ID also. That ID you need to register because paper I will be uploading there only. Okay. You will not be getting the paper on your classroom ID because classroom because outside kids are also there. Okay. So that is the ID where you will be getting your paper. And we will be fixing certain time, like no, not twenty four hours. It will be just somewhere ah uh, eight to twelve hours. We will be giving between that timeline. You should complete it. Okay, so Sunday it is like ah uh, most probably ten to ah uh, eight or ten to nine. I will be giving it, or maybe eleven to nine. I will be giving it. So that time will be 
fixed enough okay so that you have to write and you have to you know scan that answer sheet in a particular way okay? ma'am do we have so, test uh, three, uh, for 3 hours yes actually a uh, keep a timer there keep a watch with you when you start the test and then end it okay and then you know uh, by 2 hours 45 minutes you stop it stop writing okay and that last 15 minutes what you are remaining remaining with in that 15 minute exactly what you should do is you should go through every answers whatever you have written along with the spelling what, so that is hmm? what if you didn't complete it by um, to ask what five minutes so in that case definitely you have to take three hours but actually uh, you know since maybe you, this is the second time you are writing maybe this is the first time you are going to write it so you might take maybe you know three hours 15 minutes but try to wind up by two hours 45 minutes might be the mass paper you will not be able to complete it soon but try to complete it two at two hours 45 minutes and then last 15 minutes we check what have you have written maybe your sum is incorrect maybe you have left some question maybe you have left some part and the correction it should not be like checking should not be only like going through the answer sheet it should be with your question paper check with your question paper whether it is correct or wrong whether this part you have done or not if what is remaining if it is not done then very good point i'll tell you children don't do like this like you know one part you're writing on the first page or the second page and second part of that same question you're writing at the last page never ever do that if you by mistakenly if you left some question what you should do always strike out that answer maybe a part you have written there strike that out and then again you should write that complete answer with the complete sections so that should be done um, otherwise hmm? like is it applicable for uh, next page answers like ma'am would the no, uh, next page no worries like first page if you are writing a part the next page can be b part no problem but it should not be like between that one question you are inserting some other question ma'am are they yeah. not setting the timer timer will be there three hours from our side actually but you know maybe you can just note it down like some of the kids will be doing that noting the uh, things again like in the paper somewhere and all so for that reason i am telling you like you should you should take it in a positive way and you should take only two hours 45 minutes not more than that okay adriti are you going to write the half yearly mock test paper um yes ruti ma'am uh, ma'am and i am confused because uh, for this um, sunday's half uh, sunday's exam there are um, other chapters and for my half yearly half yearly exams there are other chapters oh oh you try to work on okay ma'am um, for As, me hmm. ma'am and like two chapters i don't uh, two chapters uh, i don't See, know for, from the maths actually actually for everybody it is same like if i talk about driti also some of the chapters are not being done in the school as well as in the evening classes also right driti same way i think for abhinav also might be one or two chapters are not being done so that is what the challenge is you should actually complete it focus on the chapter which are already being done in your school and the remaining which is not done you try to complete it because everybody has the same thing in your school it is uh, like you know some other chapter in other school it is some other chapter but everybody does not have completed all those chapter whatever is being given there fine so no worries mm -hmm. i'm like uh, in tuition's exam i have few more extra chapters than usual so <laughs> my, my midterm yeah. portion will be cov like covered but a few more chapters will also be covered and i that's have okay actually that's good actually you know you will be getting more revision for your final board exam that's okay ma'am but i don't have much time to cover every chapter so and in that case you know that's you can, what, if you don't have the time you have to see take out some time for it maybe night time you can increase your sleeping time maybe you know we can sleep a little late but take out some time maybe half an hour is enough for that ma'am and uh, our uh, our vp is telling that uh, november uh, vp ma'am is telling that november and december they will keep uh, the pre finals uh, exams definitely pre finals pre boards everything will be there so no worries we'll be doing it everything all right so now we will be discussing about the next topic which is about the sexual reproduction so in the previous classes we discussed about asexual methods in the uh, in the certain organism then we have discussed about the plants also in the flowers what happen and then uh, now the almost the last uh, topic of the chapter which is the sexual reproduction 
in this category uh, the two parents will be involved right one will be the male and the second one will be the female gametes mm-hmm. so what do they do they will have the process which is called as a fertilization so fertilization will be done by them and uh, the male has a kind of the uh, organ what is the name of the organ what do they have what is this called as what is the male sex organ we don't know the yeah. i i no? guess i can find, forgot the name what is the male organ driti is it the pe pe penis no that no, is a lot of uh, test test is actually uh no no sumuk no no i know okay so the male uh, gamete will be there the female gamete will be there the male gamete are the sperms actually which are produced in the testes and the female gamete are the ova fine which is the egg actually so now what happen uh, see you know how many chromosome do we have in our body 23 pairs very good 23 23, 23 pairs actually very very important question pairs. this is 46 so children cro- yeah pairs of- 46, 46 chromosomes, chromosomes 23 pair of chromosomes 23 pairs of chromosomes very very important actually what happened to make you confused what they given the question how many chromosomes do we have now what they have asked how many chromosome so how you should write it how you should answer it how many do we have 46, 46. but if they ask you how many pair of chromosome you should write 23 pairs so read the question carefully if they are asking for uh, you know the numbers or if they are asking for the pairs the second thing what they ask from this is how many type of chromosomes are there so what is the answer how many type are there ma'am two can ty- you once again ask the question yeah, two types how many types of yeah two types very good arav two types are there yes driti so two types are there x chromosome and y chromosome y- x y- chromosomes y- are present in the female whereas x and y both are present in the male, male. actually Fine. So these are the small, small question every year they ask, and directly you will be getting three marks. Like you know, free of cost, you will be getting the three of three marks if you know all these things. Okay. So uh, see, forty-six chromosome, as you have mentioned, we have now. What happened? The males are there, the females are there, right? When they fertilize, when they do the process, they will be reducing that forty-six chromosome into twenty-three and twenty-three, right? Am I correct or no? you might have you might be knowing in the class 8 you might have learned right those 46 will be reduced into 23 and 23 we will be writing like this right 46 then 20 yes, 23 ma'am. right yes, ma'am. now wh- then how come we can say that the number of chromosomes are maintained in a humans how it is maintained when we are reducing it to 46 when we are reducing 46 to into 23 then how can we say from that male gamete and female gamete so good evening ma'am. correct Abhi na kare. Good evening, Shubhanj. So, what happened exactly? See, forty-six are in the male, forty-six are in the female. Now, from the male, they will be taking twenty-three, and from the female, they will be taking the twenty-three. So, then they will be fertilizing, and those twenty-three from the male and twenty-three from the female. How many we got it now? Forty-six. Why, right, right? So, that is how the number of chromosomes are being maintained in an organism. It is Ma'am. not. Mm-hmm. and what happens to the rest of 23 see on? rest of the 23 chromosomes are doing the other functions like you know growth the development so for that they are useful and that is the reason they are called as the autosomal also so that is how the number of chromosomes are maintained in our body this is very very important question for three marks okay so male they have 43 46 chromosome which will be divided into 23 and 23 same way the female has 46 they will be dividing into 23 and 23 and ultimately one half of the male and one half of the female chromosome will combine for the fertilization and ultimately 46 chromosome will be there in the form of which cell what is the name of the cell zygote very good we have zygote okay so that cell which is formed there is called as a zygote very very important question again to so name the cells which form after the fertilization it is called as zygote now ultimately the zygote will divide and it forms the new yes. organ embryo very good embryo they will be forming the embryo and then embryo will give rise to the different parts of the body of an organism and then ultimately the organism will be there right so this is how it works so i'll just share the screen let me know whether it is
So is my screen visible to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Not no, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So a uh, topic is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction it involves two individuals, male and female. Male and female to generate a new organ. So with the help of the two individuals, what happened? The male and female, the new individual will be formed. It is necessary because in sexual reproduction, usually DNA is copied. So already we have discussed about DNA copying, right? So it is important why we should have the sexual reproduction so that the DNA can be copied. Very, very important. This point is why sexual reproduction is important. It is important to us to copy the DNA as well as for the survival of the organism. So if the sexual reproduction is not there, then we will not be able to survive, right? So that is the reason we should have that. Now this DNA copying mechanism cannot be absolute accurate. So we have already studied that when DNA copying is happening, so what, would, what it will result into? It will result into the variation, which means the changes. So they will result into some of the changes or we can see the error. So error are the source of variation in population of organisms which are useful. So this error, which basically we are getting during the DNA copying time, it is very, very useful for the organism. Sexual reproduction mode allows more and more variation to be generated. generated. So what happened when if any organism is undergoing through the sexual reproduction? So they will be getting the variation. Now, their parents, they are undergoing sexual reproduction, then again variation, new variation. Then their kids are undergoing the sexual reproduction, then again the new variation. So, like this, every generation by generation, the new variations will be there. So, if the DNA copying mechanism is less accurate, many resultant DNA copings will not be able to work with the cellular apparatus and cell would die. So, if this DNA copying is not working actually, it does not produce a variation, in that case, the cell might die. So combining variations from, one, from two or more individuals will create new combination of variants. So when, like, we have studied about the grafting also, right? What happened? Two different varieties will be taken and then new combination will be there, right? Same way in this sexual reproduction also, the male will be there with some other character, the female will be there with some other character and both they join together and they produce the new character with some of the characters similar or matching to the male and some of the uh, characters matching to the female. But new variant will be formed. Each combination will be new and unique. So we all have actually the unique combination. My DNA, my fingerprint does not match with Abhinav. Or Abhinav does not match with Riti. Riti does not match with the Rizwana, right? We cannot match with Siddharth also. So none of us is like matching with any kind of the condition. So everybody footprints, DNA prints, fingerprints, everything we have it in a different or the unique, you know, uh, the style. So that is what is happened in this. So sexual reproduction is defined as a production of offspring by the fusion of two gametes, one from the male and the other from the female parent to form a diploid zygote. Diploid zygote means where two sets of chromo chromosomes are there, two N. Haploid means N, which means 23 chromosome. One set, which means 23 chromosome. 2 into N, it means 2 into 23, which is how many chromosome? 46 chromosome. So diploid zygote means a zygote which has two sets of chromosome. In a simple language, it has the 46 chromosome, which develops into a mature organism. Now, these two are very, very important advantages of sexual reproduction over asexual reproduction. So why the sexual reproduction is highly useful rather than the asexual reproduction. You can, you know, take out any paper and you will be finding out this question almost every year in a different way. And the answer remains the same. So these two points, you should write it. The first thing, fusion of male and female gametes coming from male and female organism. Since a fusing gametes come from two different and sexually distinct individuals, the offspring will have the diversity of characters. So, so see, the same thing they have explained in different language. So male will be there, female will be there, both will have their own characters, they will combine and the new characters or new combination will be formed. The second thing, meiosis during gemet gametogenesis provides opportunity for new combination of gene. So what happened when the male and female, they are combining actually, they are forming the zygote, during that time, they will get the new combination and it 
plays an important role for the origin of new species. Since we get the new combination, so because of that, the new species will be formed, and it leads to the variations for evolution. Then chromosome, they are the linear sequence of gene. They will be made up of nucleic acid and proteins carrying the heredity information. So they will be helping to transfer the characters from one to the other. Well, it means, you know, from the parents to the offspring. So there are 46 chromosomes in the human body, which is like 26, 23 pairs. Then male gamete, it is a germ cell, which is smaller and likely to be motile. Again, a very, very important question this is. Difference between male and female gametes. Gamete means sex cells, okay? So what is the difference between male and female gamete? So for male gamete, it is a germ cell. It is smaller and likely to be motile. It means they can move actually. Whereas the female gamete, it is a germ cell which is large and they contain the food storage. Fine, children. So, this is very important, the difference between male and female gametes. Good evening, ma'am. I joined a bit late. Okay, I was teaching about the sexual reproduction, how it is. Okay. Then, as already now we have discussed, why actually the chromosome number of the sexual reproduction, uh, um, sexually producing parents and their offspring are same, justify. So, this is actually the question, justify that. Justify means give reason or give explanation to it. So statement they have given that the chromosome number of the parents, sexually producing parents and the offspring is the same. It means in us as a mother or as a father and as a kid, all three have the same number of chromosome, which is 46, how it is possible. So the answer is given here. So number of chromosome is half during the gamete formation. So when it is 46 in the father, it will be turned out into half and half. Same way in the, yeah. Mom, why only half? Why can't it be like 24, 20, uh, 22 like that? No, no, no. See, there is no condition. There is no, no terms like this. That is why we have actually two terms, meiosis and mitosis. So as uh, two types of divisions are there, meiosis and mitosis. So in the case of the meiosis, what happened? Whatever the number of chromosomes are there, they will reduce directly into half. Fine. So there is no 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 term like this which can reduce you know into maybe as you are mentioning three fourth one fourth. No, we cannot do that. Automatically, two types of divisions are there in our body. So only half we can reduce. Automatically, it is happening. So forty six will be reduced into twenty three and twenty three during the gamete formation. As a result, the number of chromosomes in the gamete is half the number of chromosome in somatic cell. Now, very important now this is, what are somatic cells? So, let me explain, first of all, this terms here. So, two terms they were talking about. So, just a minute. Okay, so somatic cells, two types of cells are there, somatic cells and the germ cells, somatic cells and germ cells. Now, germ cell already I told you it is also known as the sex cells. So these germ cells, they are directly involved in sexual reproduction so like male and female when they are doing the sexual intercourse and when the zygote is formed it is because of these germ cells only it is because of these uh, sex cells only fine so these germ cells what do they do they produce the they produce gametes like the sperms like they will be producing the gametes 
like the sperm. Whereas somatic cells, they are also called as vegetal cells. And apart from this, actually, apart from the you know sexual reproduction, whatever the remaining activities are there, <coughs> that will be done by the somatic cells. Like uh, be it the cells of the brain, they are the somatic cells. Be it the skin cells, they are the somatic cells. Then be the cells of the bones or the blood. So they all are basically the somatic cells where they are not doing the reproduction function. Right? So they will be passing, they will be, they are these two uh, kind of the cells, germ cells and somatic cells. Germ cells, they, they will be helping for the reproduction and remaining thing, whatever is there, will be done by the somatic cells like the growth, like the development, repairing of any kind of the cells. So these all will be done by the somatic cells. So that is how these two are different. Now you can see in this picture, as I have already mentioned you, father will be there, mother will be there. They have 46 chromosome, father has 46. Same way the mother has 46. Now these 46, because of the meiosis, which is half, so 46 half is 23 and 23. They will get reduced. Fine. Now, after reducing it 23, 23, here also 23. In the male, in the in the females, what happened? The remaining 23 will become non-functional. So 23 will be working and it goes in the body of the organism, whereas the other 23 they will become non-functional. And then one set of this 23 of the father in the form of the sperm and 23 of the mother in the form of the ovum, they will fuse together. So you can see the sperms are coming in this direction towards the egg, right? So they are carrying here 23 and already egg has 23. So when these two are joined together, they form the new cell, a single cell structure, or I can say the unicellular structure called as the zygote. So that is how the number of the chromosome remains constant. It does not change. Am I clear children how it is? Yes, Arav, Arjan, Abhina, Vayunija, Siddharth, Dharya, yes, Driti, Huriya, Shuban, Shumuk, Rijwana, Say, Shayan, any doubt? Yes, no, no. no. So, see, for writing this answer, don't write a big statement or the paragraphs and all. You can just draw the simple diagram. And it don't, don't draw this father and the mother. You just write their father or you can write the male and then you can write the female, okay? And then write 46 and then divide them into 23, 23. The sperms you can draw, then ovum you can draw and then that's it. So no one is going to reduce your marks. Definitely the three directors will be giving you without thinking. Fine, if you write the statement, they might give a three also. But what happened? There are the chances that they can reduce because they do not have so, so much of time to go through your answer. So try to always write your answers in the form of the diagrams rather than writing the big, big paragraphs. And avoid writing the paragraph. Instead of paragraph, if you don't know how to draw, then write in the points. Fine. So that is how the numbers of chromosomes will be. So let's see that answer. So number of chromosome is half during gamete formation. As a result, the number of chromosome in gamete is half the number of chromosome in the somatic cell. So somatic cells, basically the cells other than the sexual reproduction thing. So when male and female gametes fuse during fertilization, the number of chromosomes become equal to that in somatic cells. So when the fusion of the male and female happens, then again, the number of the chromosome will come to the 46. This is how offspring and parents of offspring have the same number of chromosomes. So this is how it will result into. Mama sent you a question in chat. Any doubt, children? Mm -hmm. Would the male and male chromosome decrease after the fertilization to 23? What do you mean by 23? When uh, Sumuk, when male have the 23 and the female they have the 23, it cannot be decreased to 23. It will be 46. Yes, but again, if that parent, you know, are having the sexual intercourse, if they are doing the sex, 
then again it will be decreasing while conceiving same process will be repeated then understood yes ma'am okay so anything children now in adriti the area are of siddharth now uh, i'll be we'll be going to the next topic which is about the male reproductive system fine i'll just share the screen we'll see the diagram first of all Um, okay, so I hope my screen is visible, children, to you. Yes, children, it is visible or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is basically the structure of the human male reproductive system. All right, and every year, male or female, any one, they are asking compulsory every year. either they will be asking the male either they will be asking the female so it's very very important that both the topics you should be thorough fine so this is the diagram of the male reproductive system you can see uh, this is the front part of the male how this looks like this is a side view of it this is the back view of it or the rear view of it then again the second side fine now this part is called as the penis Fine. So this part, the blue one, and the down, this blue one, this two, both the together, they are called as the penis. This penis has a actually a kind. This here at the end of the penis, there is a kind uh, of a kind of a cover or kind of a skin which is present there on the penis, so that they can move it. Actually, you know, they can move the cover up and down during sexual intercourse time, and ultimately, whatever the sperms are there, they that they can you know ejaculate or the Ejaculate means, uh, to remove actually, to, to remove the sperm ejaculating. So from their body, they they will be ejaculating it and they will be transferring it to the female's body. So this has actually a kind of the cover. So you can see from this point, see a kind of the hole. You can see a very small tiny hole in the center of the penis is there. So this hole, yeah. Now you can see clearly. So this hole will be helping to. Pass the sperm. Now, where the sperms are produced, they are produced here. So this one here in the testes, two testes are there. Like, okay, one is here, this side, and the other one, right testes. This is the left testes. So in these two testes, the sperms will be produced, and once the sperms are produced, they will be traveling through this. Can you see this? See, this is a kind of the tube-like structure called as vas deferens. they will be traveling through this vas deferens they will be going then to this part which is called as a prostate gland and from here they'll go to the part which is the penis and from the penis they will be ejaculating or they will be removing that sperm or they will be giving the sperm to the female part that is in the vagina fine so that is how actually the structure looks like fine so this we will be uh, learning in the next class about the whole structure and other things also about them and the female also at the same time will be completing it any doubt children and has the time table changed time table means um normal weekly time table of classes ma'am we no when is no the, when, is, when is the next biology class actually it was on tuesday but certainly i am i was not available that is the reason i gave that class to sir and uh, i think for an, uh, one more week i will be keeping the class at uh, 5:45 children due to some certain reasons i i think most probably for one week also and uh, and after that i'll be back to 610 only fine i hope anyone does not have any problem with this 545 time only for tuesday and thursday two days for me and uh, so, math is at 730 right? 
maths will be same as usual no changes yeah. for any other activity ma'am yesterday uh, yesterday why was the maths class cancelled she got some emergency actually you know at her home that was the reason we cancelled her class yeah okay um, so, yeah tell me ma'am um, this timing is confusing ma'am tomorrow only exam and i was busy studying <laughs> see uh, i i do understand about this but what happened you know certainly i have some you know something going on here some problem going on here so i i think you all can hear the kids how they are crying right now so you know it's very difficult actually uh, so i i'm searching for someone but uh, till then i'm i don't get anyone you all have to manage so okay. only two Tomorrow. classes to like tuesday and thursday only my okay. classes actually Okay. Tomorrow are we having okay. marriage? Tomorrow is Friday. No, no, no. We don't have. We don't have. Okay. The normal timetable will be followed. The only thing is, whenever you have the bio class on Tuesday and Thursday, for one week, I guess you will have the class at five forty-five. Only Tuesday and Thursday. Remaining days, be it maths, be it uh, uh, chemistry or physics, it remains the same. Only for bio, a small change is there. Not permanently. A week change. Ma'am, how much time does it take to complete this chapter? Ah, uh, now it very simple, simple topics are remaining. I think within two classes or three classes maximum it will be completed. Ma'am, then what will you start the next? I'll be starting chapter. with the control and coordination. If you want, or the R yes, environment also we can do that. Ma'am, control, control and control coordination. coordination. Fine, control and coordination. Then you can that start. That is coming it. for a midterm exam. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll start that. And children, make sure that you all register that. today it's a register it and you all should give the exam the mock test exam it will be helping you a lot fine okay ma'am if anything else you have you can ask so how to register i have shared the course id there been up in the class group you can just check it okay? okay so for our own kids it is free of cost those who are registering from outside maybe you can ask your friends if they wanted to do, do that but for them it is 100 rupees For you all, it is free. Ma'am, where is the test? Where is the test? What are you asking? Ma'am, where is? I think test? he meant he meant in which app or which app? site? See, I have given you the ID, the Wise app ID. I have shared there on the group. Go through that, register through that, and. You will be getting the class course name as an I think the examination class tenth examination. Okay, there I will be uploading the papers. Ma'am, can you once again send it in the group? Ah, okay, I'll share it. I'll share it once again. Okay, children, then thank you. Ma'am, those tests uh, do they have mm -hmm. deadlines? Yes, they have the deadlines actually. They have the deadline. Three hours will be there, and after three hours, auto deadlines like you know any three hours. I think from morning uh ten till evening eight any three hours you can take. And ma'am, one more doubt, ma'am. When yeah. from when is this test? Sunday you have. I have shared yeah. the date sheet again. I'll share it. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yes, Because it will. Puriya, it will have both the things. It will be exactly as like your board paper. Ma'am, so on Sunday we'll have the test open from when. Uh, timings are still not confirmed, Abina. Once it is confirmed, I will be dropping the message because still I have not and, decided. And uh, as soon as we start the test, the time is on. From Correct. our side or uh, it's set in both the sides. Both the sides actually. So it gets closed automatically. Correct. Correct. It will be getting closed automatically. So that make sure that within those uh you know three hours fifteen minutes you should upload your answer sheet. That's. Ma'am, like uh, yeah. after ma'am, uh, like, yes, in the so, teacher's side, they will they would keep a timer. I can't get you some more. Come again, ma'am. When we when we open the test paper, like hmm. will the will the teachers start the timer? When will we when? No, we will we... be doing it. We automatically will be done from our side. Ma'am. Yeah. And uh, is it okay if we submit it after? Writing the test, like if we are not able to submit it within the three hour time limit. Yes, ma'am. I'm yeah. talking about submitting. Three hours, fifteen minutes. That's why I told you three hours is for your paper. Fifteen minutes is for you know scanning and then uploading and sending to us. 
Okay. 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 Do register. I'll share that idea. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.